In today's video, we are going to be setting up November's monthly budget. So if you are needing some budget inspo, go ahead and grab your planner or your iPad or whatever it is that you use and let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna come back here to my little pocket and grab my stickers and just put them over here on the side. And if this is your first time watching one of my budget videos, there are um, several things in my budget that I keep private for privacy reasons not so much for you guys but um for like the people in my real life who know me who watch my videos i just don't want them knowing all of my financial things so that would be why but i want to go ahead and show you guys my 2024 um budget planner i said i was going to show it to you once it came in this is the erin condren monthly planner this is what the month looks like it's pretty pretty minimal she I mean she has a few flowers and stuff but it's pretty minimal and um, I will be updating the dashboard I will start working on that next week because the dashboard does look different in her planners for next year than they do um, in this year so just wanted to show you guys my new baby so at the end of the video I will go ahead and show you guys the December kits which went live today um, but you'll get to see them in person if you stay for the end of the video. So for the sake of time, I went ahead and filled in all of my uh, bills ahead of time so that I will just be placing them down with you guys today. So last month was a really busy month for me. And, um, you know, thankfully, this month will be a lot more calmed down. I don't anticipate having a lot of things. I don't anticipate having um, a whole lot going on this month. Um, so with that being said, I just kind of plan on focusing on work this month as well as I'm gonna be taking off, which y'all are gonna see that. So my rent has already been paid for this month. I actually just paid it before I started filming. So in this next upcoming week, I have Netflix due. Um, HP Inc. is on the 7th. I do put both of my business bills and my personal bills in this monthly calendar because this is the like the only planner that I really use for this type of stuff. But if you had like separate planners, you could do that. Next is my cell phone bill. It is due on the 8th. It is pretty high not really looking forward to that but and it's higher than it used to be because I put insurance on my phone so there's that my shop app is due on the 15th and these tweezers are uh, Cricut tweezers it came with my Cricut machine so I don't know what these are called either but and they're a little bit more difficult to use than like your regular tweezers, but I'm trying to get used to them. Next, I have car insurance and Apple Music, both due on the 18th, which is a Saturday, so that may end up coming out either on this Friday or Monday. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the 18th, because that's when it's due. My Wi-Fi bill is due on the 20th. Next, we have taxes, which are due on the 21st. I actually wish I would have grabbed my other tweezers. I don't really, like these are cool for, I think for like the boxes, they're a little bit harder to use. My other tweezers are easier, but for like the icons, they're pretty easy to use. Okay, so, oh, health insurance is on the 17th. So my health insurance bill will be do on the 17th from here on out next I have my electricity which will be due on the 24th my 
my Canva Pro, which is a business bill, is due on the 27th. And then my student loans are due on the 28th. So those are all of the bills. I have a few extras just in case something changes or gets added or I've messed up somewhere. Um, the next thing I wanna go ahead and notate, I want to notate um, Bible study because I have been, and these are um, the event stickers. I have been like missing Bible study religiously for like several months, it's ridiculous. And I think the reason why I've been missing it is because like number one as of right now Bible study is online still I know my pastor was saying that he wanted to go back to in-person Bible study and I personally prefer in-person Bible study so I think that's the reason I've been missing it like I am NOT an online person like that so um, I think that's a reason I've been missing missing Bible study, but I told myself that this would be the month that I put it in my planner so that I do not forget. So I'm putting this on, that's crooked. Yeah, I'm putting this one on Tuesday because today is actually my best friend's birthday, so I want to put his birthday sticker right there. So that's why I did that, okay? So um, I'm also going to notate my vacation so I am trying to be very I'm going into 2024 starting at the end of this year making sure that I am taking like proper vacations so my vacation will start Monday so everything that's due this week will be done and then it'll end on Sunday I'll be back on Monday what I did forget to notate I need to put the sales in here but I'm gonna save that for the end because um, yeah I'm gonna save that for the end because I forgot about that and I want to see how everything else is falling in the month before I add that in so I'm gonna go ahead and add my little Thanksgiving sticker here And then I'll put um, daylight saving over here, even though it's in the planner already. I just kind of want to put my little sticker on it. So that's it for the um, event stickers. And again, I'll, I'll come back with the sale stickers if I have room for it. Okay, so I'm gonna use my birthday stickers here. Um, like I said, my best friend's birthday is actually today. And so, I'm going to put this sticker up here. I think it'll overlap a little bit, but that's okay. And then my other best friend's birthday is on the 12th. And I will put her sticker right here in the corner. And I don't think I have any other birthdays in the month of November. So next I'll go ahead and notate the paydays. So that would be every Tuesday and Friday. Okay, next I'm gonna come in with my groceries and church stickers. I'm thinking about putting like Black Friday because I really do want to notate this in the planner. I think it's important. Black Friday and then I'll do Small Business Saturday. And I will just have to know what that means. <laughs> and so we'll stick this sticker like right here. Yeah. And then I'll do another one that says, I'll do it in brown, um, the cyber sales. I do, I usually will put like new releases and stuff like that in my planner. So I do want to put these here and that can just go right there. Okay, so as you can see, things get a little bit busier toward the end of the month. So we'll go in with the grocery stickers 
and put those in. I use these stickers to really like motivate me to stay on top of tracking my groceries and making sure that I'm buying them because sometimes when life gets crazy, um, oh, happy Veterans Day. <laughs> sometimes, let's put it right here. When life gets crazy, um, you know, it's so much easier to just go get, you know, pick some food up, but and although there's not much of a difference between like groceries and eating out anymore, it's crazy. I do feel like I eat healthier when I have groceries and I eat a bit lighter and cleaner and um, it's easier for me to lose weight, which I need to, when I am grocery shopping. So that's kind of my motivation for grocery shopping. It's not really a financial thing anymore. It's more of like eating healthier lighter being able to like lose weight all that stuff so let's go ahead and put in the church stickers and so we'll do it here And the last church sticker. Okay, so I think that's it for stickers. What I'm well, no, it's not, but it's it for, <laughs> for those stickers. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, I'm going to write my self care. What I want to do this month for self care is get a massage. I haven't had one in forever. So that's what I want to do this month. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of room because I do want to put the dollar amount that I spend um, until I get a date picked. I want, I'm wanting to go during this week that I'll be off, but until I get a date picked, I'm just gonna put it over here on the side um, in my planner. Last month, my self-care activity was to drink tea and I did okay I, I could have did better but it was okay okay so the things that I need to take care of for this month is I need to do my retirement rollover I'm gonna put that over here as well as edit student was something else I needed to do that I forgot to put on okay it was something else that I remembered a little bit later but I forgot to write it down um, I need to edit my student loans and that situation what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put my no spend sticker up here because I tracked I track my no spend days so I put a sticker here I put a little equal sign, and then at the end of the day, at the end of the month, I will calculate how many of those spend days I had. So for the month of um, October, if y'all can see that I had 10 no spend days. I've also been tracking my coffee that I get outside of the home. So I did it five times this month and spent $15. So I'll be tracking the coffee as well. So I will put that here. And then that way, whatever I forgot, when it comes up, I'll just put it down here. But that is it for the monthly overview, guys. This is what it looks like. Okay, so we're a little zoomed in here. Y'all, please excuse my nails. I actually need to take them off, and I was going to until I forgot I had to record this video. And I was like, oh, wait, I can't take them off yet. But I already have my new nails, so y'all see those on Friday, but just excuse these. Um, so my income sources, um, well, my own, my only income source is my business and miscellaneous is like for anything that I, that comes in that's not from business. Um, usually that would be like, uh, birthday gifts or Christmas money or something like that. Getting a refund, anything like that. So under variable expenses, we have gas, spending groceries uh -oh. home eating out mm -hmm. 
medicine, beauty, laundry, and I do put tithes over here because it varies depending on what the income is. Hopefully y'all can see all of that. So this month I'm budgeting $40 for spending, $180 for gas, $280 for groceries. Oh, and my budget is just for me, for anyone that may be new. Um, so this is for one person. Home is 60, eating out is 100, meds 40, beauty 150. I just remember what I want to put on the nose pages. I want to get my hair braided this month. Um, not in the box or the knotless braids like I had last month, but like some straight backs. <laughs> now, it's been a long time since I've had my hair like that, but I saw these really cute ones online. Um, Y'all know the straight backs are in style again. And I saw this picture online that I really like. It looks so pretty. And the girl, um, she used blonde hair. And so I still have like tons of blonde hair left because about two years ago when I got my hair done in box blonde box braids I had hair left over I haven't had my hair braided in two years um, until early, earlier well no a couple months ago for my birthday um so I forgot that I had blonde hair already I moved as well so just completely forgot I'm like I could have sworn I threw that hair away but I still have it so I ended up buying more bags of hair so I have like tons of blonde hair around here so I'm just trying to think of like, I'm like, okay, my um, braider, she can, you know, do my hair. I have um, tons of hair. And then that way I just pay for the service. I don't have to buy hair again. Uh, car insurance is also 100. Apple Music, I've been putting 12, but it's really like 13. Wi-Fi is 31. Taxes is 65. I used to put 68 because of that. Um, oh, y'all know what? <laughs> I forgot health insurance. I forgot that. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do. Student loans is 77. I'm going to have to move the stickers down. So I will be right back. Okay, so now I forgot about that bill. But it'll change, this will change after next month because I'm gonna pay my taxes off, so we'll be back to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll be back, we'll be back to nine bills after this, after um, not this month, I'm tripping. December. In December, I'm paying my taxes off. So back in when we get to January, we'll be back to nine bills. So this month for additional expenses, all I have are sinking funds. And I do live by a main street. If you guys hear trucks or loud cars or anything like that, that's why I'm budgeting 288 to stuff my sinking funds, my savings challenge. This month, I have a uh, November. We are saving 170. So these last few months of the year are really big. It's it's definitely a challenge, especially if you're trying to save money in multiple places or you have like different things to pay for. It's a challenge. But I did that on purpose. I was like, I'm gonna put all the easiest amounts first because it's motivating, because it's easy. And then I was like, later in the year, we'll get to the heavier amounts, which is a little bit harder. But I figured if you made it this far, you will feel the motivation to push through to the end of the year. At least that's how I feel. So y'all can let me know. Um, okay, so for babies, so what is going on is my cousin had a baby. Can y'all see that? My cousin had a baby last month. And... I missed the baby shot last month. Yeah, the baby was born 
in October. I missed the baby shower in August because I was in Atlanta. But um, when I go to meet him, so he's a few weeks old, so I'll probably meet him in another month, probably this month. Whenever my cousin, he'll let me know, he'll call me and let me know. So whenever I go to meet him, I need, I wanted to bring a gift because I missed the baby shower. Um, my best friend, whose birthday is today, his baby is gonna be born this month as well. And I missed that baby. Lord, I missed them baby showers left and right. I missed that baby shower last weekend because I had already RSVP'd to go to the housewarming for my other friends. So, because you know, it's kind of like first, whoever had first dibs. Like, so I wasn't gonna cancel going to the housewarming to go to the baby shower because the housewarming was scheduled first. So, I missed that baby shower. But his baby will be born this month. And I don't know if I'm gonna meet the baby this month or next month. I'm just gonna budget a hundred dollars for the two babies and then oh and they're both boys how fun um budget is gonna be zero okay so zoom out here I'm gonna go ahead and tally up this column even though tides are zero and it's not zero but I'm just gonna add this column up and then do the actual and then add this column up so we have 40 850 okay it's just the budgeted column so of course it's gonna change when I do the actual then down here we have 288 plus 170 100 558 I'll fill in the dashboard pages with you guys um, at the end of the video before we get to the December kits so we can move on to the paychecks. And if you get paid once a month or twice a month, you don't have to condense your categories like I do. So I get paid weekly so I condense my category so I can fit every paycheck on one page. And so we look at my October It'll look just like this. So I, we, I did have a fifth paycheck this month. So I'll be closing this out on Friday. So if you want to see that, be sure to come back. But this is how it looks. And I'm able to have a snapshot of how I did for the week. Or excuse me, for the month. So that's what this is going to look like. So because uh, my revenue slash income is one of the things I don't share publicly um, on here. What I end up putting under income is take out so this represents the cash that I'm taking out of my paycheck to either put aside for bills put into my cash envelopes my sinking funds or saving challenges or anything um, my buffer envelope or anything that may be coming up in that week that I'm going to need extra money to spend for so for example I have my cash envelopes which are spending groceries um, gas eating out all, all the things but if something were to come up, if I need to give somebody some money for something or anything like that, I would just put that under extra spending and have the cash for that. So, so the first thing I write under expenses are my bills. So whatever bills I'm gonna pay in this first paycheck, I'm gonna put the due date when all the bills are due by. So if I have a bill due on the first, second, third, like if I have three bills due, first, second, and third, I will put the third. That's when all the bills need to be paid for that week before I move on to the next week and then I'll put the expected amount what I expect the bills to be and then come back with the actuals so but I filled this I actually filled these numbers in in my cash stuffing videos so here I'm just putting down the categories next will be my cash envelopes and then I put what I'm stuffing and then when I come back at the end of the week I put how much I actually spent in my cash envelopes and so that's how that goes then uh, I'm going to abbreviate for sinking funds and saving challenges so these are my little savings envelopes 
I will tally up how much I'm putting in my sinking funds and the saving challenge. Usually this amount is always accurate and there's hardly any like over or under amounts. It's usually pretty spot on. Um, I do track putting some money in my buffer account. It's not much, but I, I like to track it. And then in this last category, I'm going to put extra spending slash unbudgeted because I realized last month, like I bought some things and they weren't necessarily unbudgeted, but it was just extra spending. It didn't fit into any of these other categories. So this is how I set up my paycheck. Again, if you don't get paid every single week, you could actually break this down and write whatever bill is due. You can actually write each cash envelope out and do it like that. But this is how I do mine. I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the rest of these weeks and come back. Okay, so I finished filling out my paychecks for the month of November, so I will have four of them. I also forgot to put that I put $200 under expected. So um, on a weekly basis, I expect to take out at least $200 in cash from each paycheck. Um, because even on the weeks that like I don't have any bills due, which some months I have bills due every week depending on how the dates fall and then some months I have like one or two weeks where I don't have any bills so um, like on the weeks where I don't have any bills that are due I expect to at least take out $200 just for like gas groceries put some money in my saving challenge and stuff like that so um, once the week comes up I'll go in and put what I'm actually taking out in cash and then make notate the difference but that's that so next we will move on to the weekly check-in page okay so this is the page where I just keep track of these variable spending categories um, on a weekly basis because what it does is if I notice that I'm like going over in a category I will know like okay I kind of need to pull back in this category it just gives me an overall view throughout the month of how my variable spending is going so I just write the categories down um, here. I used to do it like every week, like write the categories out, but I realized that um, I prefer to do it once a month at the beginning of the month. And then that way throughout the, throughout the month, I'm just filling in the numbers. What I do over here for the week is I put what week I'm, or what days, dates of the week I will be spending money for. So for me, week one, is going to be November 3rd through November 9th and my budgets run from Friday to Thursday so they start on Fridays they end on Thursdays so this is how that looks um, I will go ahead and fill out the rest of the check-in page and come back and show you so this is what the weekly check-in page looks like so I went ahead and filled in all of my dates for the month so I know which week I'm spending things in so for the debt tracker, I currently just have one debt that I'm paying on. I mean, I have two. I have um, student loans, but I just treat, as of right now, I'm just treating student, lo student loans like a bill. I'm not like trying to like attack student loan debt or anything like that. Um, to me, unless you are wealthy, it's not worth, it's just not worth it. Um, <laughs> I think they get forgiven like I know some forgiveness the public service loan program I think they get forgiven in 10 years and then anybody that's not on the public service loan they get forgiven I think after 20 years so worst case scenario I'd be paying on them until I'm like 50 I guess 50 years old which of course is not ideal um, but like I said unless I become wealthy um, I am not looking to pay off student loans student loan debt it will just get treated like a bill and there's that I am focused on taxes so my balance for taxes is currently three hundred seventy one dollars and next year I will be paying my taxes all in one payment I will not be making payments on taxes again the payment will be 65 there is no interest and then 371 minus 65 is 306 
well, I guess not let me say if I get wealthy, but just, I don't know, just like if I feel like, I don't know, I'm just like really like overflowing in dough like that, I would put it towards student loans, but at this point, like overflow, I'd rather put in my bank account. <laughs> I'd rather put in retirement. I'd rather put, so I guess for me, it would be a wealthy thing. Like if I become wealthy, where it's like taking out 20, 30, 40, $50,000 is nothing. Like I can pay that. If I get to that point, but until I get there, cause I am claiming it, but until I get there, any kind of money like that, I would feel for me it would be more important to put like toward my retirement, to put toward, you know, a home, to put toward. So that's where I am. I am on that. Um, so I say that the debt that I have that I actually am working on paying off will be my taxes. Um, so after that, I will be consumer debt free. I will just have my federal loans for student for student loans, but I'll be consumer debt free. And I plan on paying this off um, by the end of December because I am not going into 2024 with this debt. Also forgot to mention that I also want to pay cash for my next car. So my current car is, I think she's eight years old and I've had her for seven years. And I don't plan on getting rid of that car anytime soon like anytime soon but the next car that i get i want to pay cash for it because i don't want a car notes this was the car that i had before this one my parents got for me so i didn't i personally didn't have a car note because they paid for it um so this was my first like grown-up car like my car that i had to pay for and i had a car note for i think five years so um yeah it's not fun I'm like I don't want another car no like I mean obviously if I'm in a situation where I have to get one so be it but I don't want another car note and I really would like to pay cash for my next car so it's things like that that kind of put me in a position of saying like I wouldn't pay student loans off unless I was wealthy because I have goals like that like I have goals I have retirement goals I have the goal of the next car I get I don't have to pay a car note for it so Student loans are at the bottom of the totem pole for me as far as paying them off. Um, but hey, if they get paid, they get paid. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fast forward the video, I'm gonna go through and I'm just writing down the balance in each of these categories, which you guys will be proud of me because yeah, I know these funds were in shambles, but we are at about $1,700 now in my sinking funds. So, um, yeah, we, I really want to build these funds back up after destroying them in, in August and September. So I'm gonna go through and write my amounts down here and come back and show you guys the total. Okay, y'all, so the sinking funds currently has 1747. So the last page of the budget would be my business budget, but I'm currently waiting for a, another shipment of sticker paper. So I um, spent all of my sticker paper putting December kits in stock. So once I get my sticker paper, I will um, be able to print that out and fill that in, but it's the same, it has not changed. So if you wanna see that, you can look at October's budget. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is fill out um, my November dashboard. Okay, y'all, so this is my November dashboard. So my only main goal for every single month is just to make sure I stay a month ahead on rent, meaning that I'm using the previous month's income to pay the next month or current month's rent. 
um, to do. Black Friday prep is just the main thing, um, which you guys will get more information on that in the next couple of weeks. Important things, I have to make edits to my student loan payments. I need to start my retirement rollover. I want to get a hair appointment as well as a massage appointment, but we'll see. Birthdays, of course, my two of two of my three best friends' birthdays, and then this bestie is having a baby this month, so I'm just we'll see what day he comes. For projects, again, Black Friday and Christmas sale prep, which would be in December. Events, just Thanksgiving habits. I want to diet. I diet around this time of year every single year because y'all know, holidays, New Year. The, the weight gain is real. So like I try to lose weight um, several weeks before those holidays come so that if I gain weight, it's not massive. Um, and then of course, like I told y'all, I wanna make sure I'm doing my church Bible study and then my personal. So that is it. Let's go ahead and get to the December kits. little disclaimer that the December kits will only be available from today which is November 1st to November 27th with 7th which is Cyber Monday I would recommend getting your December kits as early as possible and I'm saying that to say that if you wait until Black Friday to get the to get the December kits um, you can but just know that Processing time is extended for all items on Black Friday. Once I get into jumping into doing Black Friday sales, I don't want to be stressing out about December sticker orders coming in. I got to get those out. So they will only be, avail be available for this month. They will not be available after November 27th. The stickers will only be available for 26 days. So if you want one, go ahead and pick it up. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. And yeah, let me go. Let me know what your uh, November budget goals are. What are some important things that you have to do this month? I would love to read about it. And I will see you guys on Friday for the Cash Stuffing. Bye.